Okay, uh, big news at Vikings camp today. Uh, I think they have the day off of camp, but big news. Uh, Daniil Hunter, they worked it out. Um, he's going to be, he's going to be a Viking this year. Um, um, he's getting some more, he's getting more money for this one final year. Um, he said 20 million, um, which is a big bump up. I think he was get, only going to get like five big bump up. Um, and then he, and then he, you know, will be a free agent, a full free agent after the season because they can't even franchise tag him. Um, so that's resolved. Daniil Hunter will be a Minnesota Viking in 2023. This is great news because, you know, you know we, we, got, we got Brian Flores coming in here to see what he can do with this defense. And boy, if we, if we give him, if we don't give him a single, you know, you know, top level pass rusher and we have some young guys who I we have some hope for, but, um, you know, that would be, that would be very, uh, unfair to him, but this, this, this will ensure the Hunter is here and he'll be super motivated again. Cause he'll, he'll be trying to get his, his big deal after the season, which will not be with the Vikings. I will, I will guarantee fucking tee it that, that Daniil Hunter's last season as a Minnesota Viking will be 2023. He will get it. He will, he, if he has a really, really good season, he will go get a deal, a, a, a big deal somewhere. It ain't going to be here though. He's going to turn 30 next season, like middle of next season. It gets a little dangerous when you're, when you're starting them to, uh, to give big money deals to, uh, to guys, you know, over 30, at least at that position. Um, so he'll, he'll, he'll be elsewhere. Um, and people are, some Vikings fans are already freaking out about the cap. Oh, we're going to have dead cap. Wherever we already, we're going to have dead cap. They'll figure it out. They always, the, the, how many times do we have to go through this dance of, oh, how the Vikings are in cap hell. How are they going to screw it? How, how are they going to, how are they going to figure this shit out? They always do. <laughs> I mean, we, we were supposed to be in, in absolute cap hell for years and years and years to come. And, they're already, you know, they're already in a position where they've got a lot of money to play with next year. Now, maybe if we end up using a lot of that dead cap on Hunter and potentially Kirk, well, yeah, a lot of it's getting used up on players that aren't here. I mean, Kirk's still going to be here. Can't wait for the meltdowns on that. Um, but this is great news. This, you know, very important player to, to help us keep... Uh, going, trying to repeat in the North and, and go further. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this will be the last time that we have to go through a lot of Daniel, Daniel Hunter contract drama. It seems like it's been about three or four off seasons in a row where there's been something like, you know, is he going to come back? Is he, you know, is he going to resign? Is he going to come back? Are we going to franchise him? What's going to happen? Is he going to hold out? You know, and this was done very, you know, you know, this was done very, you know, Seems like very amicably and professionally because Hunter showed up uh, for camp last week. He wasn't, he hasn't been practicing, but he's been around. Like, it's not like he's been, you know, at home stewing about uh, his contract. Um, but I think he'll be gone next year. I think this will be his last year. And I hope he has a great year because if he has a great year, that's going to help the defense in a big, big way and help us hopefully, you know, repeat in the north and do something else um so very good news and uh no other news <laughs> dalvin cook is still out there he hasn't signed he's paired he might sign with the jets which pisses me off because it's like it's just disgusting that he might play with aaron Rodgers. but no vikings news uh camp's open camp's open to fans i'm hoping to get out there this week um and when i get out there i'll see daniel hunter who you know, you like you like having guys who are in that in that walk year because they're it's just human nature. They're extra motivated because they're no they know that they they can get a big a big payday. And this applies to Kirk too. I mean, you know, he's he's gonna get something next year. But uh, Hunter, this will be his swan song with the Vikings this year, and I hope it's a great one. <laughs>